fake people aren't the easiest of people to spot in society. They go all out to blend in so that they can manipulate and get their needs met. So what are the signs that you are dealing with a fake person? And one of the first is their inconsistent behaviour. Now, they might just simply act differently around different people or they might come on strong in the beginning. They might be your hero. They might be there for you. They might shower you with attention, affection and support when they want something from you. And then when they've got a better offer, they disappear on you. They're nowhere to be seen. They offer you that excessive flattery. And the thing about flattery is, is it can sound like a genuine compliment. However, what they're doing is offering you that insincere praise to manipulate you into liking them. Even if you don't like receiving a compliment, you can still feel flattered by their insincere praise. They lack the empathy to care about people, so they will not show any form of genuine, authentic concern. You will often notice that if something horrific is happening to someone, they will bring it all about themselves and how they've suffered far worse. They will fake empathy to exploit people. However, you'll notice when they've done something to hurt someone, they will often excuse it by claiming that the other person deserved it. They are very self-centred. They are focused on getting their own needs met and they will go all out to accuse others of not appreciating them, of not caring about them. They will accuse others of being selfish if you, if they ask you to do something and you're busy and say no, maybe tomorrow, they get offended, they take offence. They like the empathy to care about your boundaries, they're just interested in getting their own needs met. They are very dishonest. You might just notice the subtle lies that they tell or the exaggerations to manipulate people. However, when they tell different groups of people different stories and you stand there thinking, well, that doesn't sound right, it's because it's not right. They're lying to deceive people because they're fake. They lack the accountability. They avoid responsibility at all costs to you and those around you. Nothing is ever their fault. The person who taught them, taught them completely wrong. The person who they're helping didn't listen to them. Their family don't appreciate them. Their ex didn't pay them enough attention or is crazy. Nothing is ever their fault. It's always somebody else's mistake. They are some of the most hard done to people you could ever meet. They will go all out to gossip about other people. This is their lack of empathy and their envious nature. They go all out to tear other people down to feel better about themselves. And if they are talking to you about people, they are talking to people about you. And they often do this because they are some of the most envious people you could ever meet. And they usually spin it in a way to make the person that they are envious of look bad. Oh, look, they've got a new car. They must have received an inheritance for that. No hard work there. They aren't interested in the qualities that make people who they are as a person. They're interested in taking what other people have away from those people because they don't believe that other people deserve it. They have those superficial relationships so they can have a relationship however it's far from healthy it's built on manipulation yet they go all out to blame the other person for not trusting them not caring about them being selfish towards them because again nothing is ever the narcissistic individual's fault they are some of the most unreliable people that you could ever meet. Now, in the beginning, they might be very reliable or they might not, but they have this seemingly 
perfect excuses. They justify their unreliable behaviour, such as, oh, they, they needed to be there for their child. And you can think, well, yeah, fair enough. Kids come first. Absolutely fine, no problem. It's only later down the line when you're in too deep that you recognise they, they weren't even there for their child. They, they lied and used their child as an excuse to be unreliable for you and their child. So they are some of the most unreliable people you could ever meet. Now, you can have people who lives get in the way. They suddenly have a doctor's appointment. They, whatever it is, that say, oh, I'm ever so sorry to let you down, but I've got, I've got this on and I didn't know it's unexpected. And they feel bad. But at some point they make it up to you. An narcissistic person won't make it up to you. They'll just promise you something in the future and then fail to deliver and be unreliable all over Again, they like to keep score, but they're not keeping score on what you've done for them. They believe you owe that to them. They keep score on the things they've done for you, the things they've given to you. That's currency in their language. You now owe them. Now, yes, in life there is that give and take and it's normally just a unconscious thing that we do we do something for people and people just naturally do things back someone does something for us and we feel like oh well, I must I appreciate that I must do something back for them a narcissistic person if you do something for them they believe they are owed that you owe them a narcissistic person will give you a gift that's wrapped in invisible strings there's always strings attached to anything they do for you and when they do give you a gift more often than not later down the line when it suits them they will ask for it back they are some of the most unreliable unpredictable people that you could ever meet that go all out to keep a score to keep a tally that works in their favour. They disappear on you when you need them the most. When you're ill, when you're celebrating something, they disappear on you. Just when you think you need them the most because they led you to believe that they care about you, they up and leave you, they disappear on you. They are only around when they need you, when they want something from you. When you think you need them or need something from them, they disappear on you because they don't like taking responsibility. They're some of the most miserable people you could ever meet. Any signs of a fake person you notice, please do add those into the comments with people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour. To give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to or have partners with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have a couple of books out on Amazon, 15 rules to deal with narcissistic people if you cannot go no contact and a narcissist handbook which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse if you'd like to go and check that out. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.